Hello everyone, this is Rhea from HeroesTraining.com and I'm making this video just to answer some questions and help clarify some things people have been asking me about pranayama or yoga breath work. And the main question, well the main issue that most people had, and I had the same issue when I first got started, was that they can't breathe into their belly. They, they breathe like this, it all goes into the chest and the shoulders. And for a lot of people, that is a natural way to breathe because that's what their body does. That's actually the incorrect way of breathing. And a lot of us breathe this way because we're just so tense in our core. And um, the muscles in the intercostals or the shoulders can be constricting that breath. So I just want to explain that proper diaphragmatic breathing is not this, it's not what it is. So in order to fix that, you have to change the way you see the world. And a lot of people, when they're trying to learn something new, they have been taught that they have to try hard. They have to concentrate. They have to mm, get all hard. And what that causes is tension. And the purpose of yoga is to release tension so the energy can flow, so the oxygen reaches the body and you'll breathe and you'll have more life force, right? So let go of the idea that in order to breathe properly, you have to go tense up because you are blocking that breath, that flow. Really try to think about just relaxing, just being loose, just letting go. Another issue, reason why a lot of people have a hard time breathing into their diaphragm is because they have postural deviations, something that is very common. So even though we call the deviation something that is not normal, it is actually extremely common and having perfect posture is very uncommon. And the reason is because of our society, we do a lot of texting, um, we sit in chairs, chairs are not something that is natural. Um, we do a lot of things in our modern society that we didn't evolve to do, and it causes all these, it causes our bodies to change into a different, you know, posture. But that also causes a blockage of the breath. So if you're hunched in your shoulders, what you have, you know, what they call kyph kyphosis of the, the shoulders from texting or uh, getting really tense while you're working at a desk, right? Instead of like, doing your typewriting like this and chilling out, you're really intense and you're into what you're writing. So you start doing this. And next thing you know, you've been like this for eight hours, you're going to have a really hard time breathing, right? Another thing that's very common is a lack of core strength. And that might cause, or maybe you're, you're on high heels all day long. And that causes an anterior pelvic tilt. It makes you arch your back like this, right? And this, this pelvis area and the ribs are, are really tight. Your belly is tight, so you can't breathe. So if you're having trouble breathing, it could be because you are uncomfortable. You don't understand truly how to relax. And that is something that I had issues with. I thought I was relaxing and I wasn't. So I'll show you how to get over that hump in the next video. Or you have partial deviations. And this is the reason why we do yoga poses. Because really the main goal of yoga is to create this unbelievable life force and to have all this oxygen and to really make yourself the most healthy and, and make the energy flow. The poses are not the goal. The poses correct your posture. So if you're like this all day and we're doing, say, like a, a, a shoulder opener or something, it corrects your posture so you can breathe better and you get more oxygen. So if you're new to yoga and you're having a hard time breathing, it seems like everyone in the class is breathing very deep and it takes them 10 seconds to inhale and 10 seconds to exhale and you're breathing a lot faster. That's okay. Keep doing the yoga. Keep doing the poses. And maybe a few months or years down the line, you'll, your posture will be corrected. You won't be like this anymore. And, and you'll be able to breathe. Okay. 
Um, one of the suggestions that I say to people when when they complain that they they can't breathe into the belly is to just you know why rely on my back here. Just when you wake up in the morning, before you do anything, bring your awareness into your breath. Just notice how you're breathing, and I guarantee you, ninety something percent, ninety nine percent of people are breathing in their belly when they wake up in the morning because they had just had a full night's of rest and they're relaxed. So just observe what you feel like when you're relaxed. You'll find that the breath will be going in here. And without tensing, without forcing the breath, without doing that, just deepen the breath. Let the breath go into the belly. Right, and just be very aware of what it feels like to breathe while you're lying on your back. And then when you get up, you know, after a good night's rest, stand up, give yourself a little stretch. Oh, yawning always makes you breathe better. And then see if you can replicate that while standing. Breathe into your belly. Just let the air go in and out and see if that works. What worked for me, um, I actually had a lot of intensive vocal training when I was studying to be an actress, and they said, whoa, you're breathing so shallow, <laughs> right? Because I, I came from a martial arts background and I was always like this, right? So they basically had me, you know, I was tense, I was tight. I had to jump up and down, I had to loosen up, <laughs> right? rub my belly a little bit, massage out my ribs, just kind of get nice and loose <sighs> until finally it happened. I started breathing into my belly. So this is kind of why I loosen, up, loosen you up in the beginning of class because if you're just really tense, you're not going to breathe properly. So diaphragmatic breathing, 60% of the breath. If you're healthy, it'll go into your diaphragm. For If you're healthy, the rest will go into your ribs. Okay. So what we have here, these are my rib cage. The muscles that surround the ribs are in the intercostal muscles. If they're really tense and tight, you'll have a hard time breathing into your ribs. But as you practice breathing into your back, that will get better. So what you want to do is just bring your awareness into your back and try to breathe into your side. So as I inhale now, my ribs expand. Exhale, they contract. Again, I'm not breathing up here. I'm breathing here into my ribs. Right. Diaphragmatic breathing, it's here in the belly. You gotta let go of all your um, inhibitions because we all hate our abs and we are always sucking it in. Just relax it, nobody cares. Be a Buddha, let the belly rub. just expand. Just it's going in my belly. Right. And then you can put it together, breathe into your belly, breathe into your ribs, breathe out of your belly, breathe out of your ribs, and then just let it. In the next video, I'll kind of walk you through the breathing. We'll, we'll do some Qigong exercises and some yoga exercises to help you deepen that breath. But if you're having problems with the breath, take some time out of your day. Take like five or 10 minutes to just lie down, feel how you're breathing, loosen up, practice your breath. Sometimes um, if I'm stand, uh, sitting at a stoplight, I'll just see how deep I can breathe. You know, take some time throughout your day to just kind of practice that breathing. Don't just wait till you're in yoga class. And you'll find that after a while, you'll start to master it.